हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी स्टार्टेड अवर फिफ्थ लेसन द स्टोरी ऑफ सिनेमा द सेलर इट्स अ रिविजन्स वन्स अगेन सो लुक एट दिस वीडियो वेरी केयरफुली आई एक्सप्लेन आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर यू वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ओके गायज सो यू वॉच दिस वीडियो इज वेरी केयरफुली एंड रीड प्रॉपरली ओके adventures on each of his voyages he never lost heart chapter 5 the story of sindabad the sailor the story of sindabad and his seven fantastic voyages appears in the huge collection of stories the book of 1001 nights or the arabian nights the story tells us that sindabad was a famous sailor who lived in baghdad he was honest generous and brave he had many adventures on each of his voyages he never lost heart and hope in dangerous situations he overcame great dangers and returned home safely from each of his voyages here's the story of his first voyage the first voyage sindabad set sail with a company of merchants on a big ship from time to time they stopped at various ports there they sold their merchandise and bought new things to trade merchandise are goods or things for sale trade means to sell One day when the ship was sailing smoothly across the sea they spotted a small island at a distance island is a land surrounded by water from all sides they had not seen land for many days and felt both surprised and happy to see the island they sailed close to the island the captain of the ship allowed them to go there for a picnic everyone was excited excited means very happy on the island they strolled around sang and danced strolled means walked here and there some people began to wash clothes some lit fires to cook meals soon a breeze sprang up sprang up means began to blow suddenly the fires began to blaze blaze means burn strongly suddenly the land began to shake and move with a shock the picnic party realized that the island was not an island at all they were on the back of a huge sea monster and it had started moving people began to scream they left their pots and pans their clothes both washed and unwashed and rushed back to the ship the captain ordered his men to set sail immediately in order to move away from the monster the sea monster plunged deep into the sea plunged means jump or dive quickly and energetically many of the people managed to climb aboard the ship but many sank into the sea with the so called island aboard means to catch ship sindabad alone did not drown in the sea but he could not reach the ship he saw it sailing far far away He was now at the mercy of the waves being tossed here and there. He clung to a piece of wood and somehow managed to keep afloat. Afloat means floating. He spent the night alone at sea. When the next day dawned, Sindabad was happy to see that he had floated near an island 
a real big island. He could see hills and woods and trees at a distance. Though he was extremely tired, he swam to the shore with all the strength that he could muster. All the strength that he could muster means all the strength that he could use at that time. Exhausted and hungry, he lay on the sand for some time. Then again, he made an effort and began to walk inland towards the shady fruit trees that he could see at a distance. Inland means towards an area of land away from the seashore. Luckily, this was the time when the king of that island sent his horses to the seashore with the grooms. Grooms are persons who take care of horses. The grooms saw Sindhabad and gave him food and drink. Then they took him to the king. The king was impressed by the way Sindhabad told him about what had happened. He asked Sindhabad to stay with him and work as an officer of the king at the port. Sindhabad stayed there for a few days, learning a lot from the king and the people of the island, and in turn telling them about the other cities and ports that he had visited. At the port, Sindhabad often made inquiries about any ships coming from or going to Baghdad, but no such ship ever came to that port. Then one day, a ship arrived at the island with a lot of merchandise. Sindhabad was at the quay when the cargo from that ship was being unloaded. Quay is a platform in a port or harbour where boats come to load or unload their luggage. Cargo means goods carried on a ship. He was surprised to see that his own name was marked on some of the boxes. Then he went to see the captain of the ship. At first, the captain could not believe that it was the same Sindhabad that they had seen drowning in the sea. But when Sindhabad spoke to him face to face, he recognized him. He was overjoyed to see Sindhabad alive. He gave him back all his merchandise. From the goods that he thus got back, Sindhabad presented the most valuable items to the king of the island, saying, Please accept this, your majesty. You have been very kind and very generous to me. The king was pleased. He too gave Sindhabad many valuable gifts when Sindhabad left the island with a merchant ship. If you want to know what happened to Sindhabad afterwards, you have to read the rest of the story of his fantastic voyages. Listen guys, this the Simba, this story is very interesting and it's a very fantastic story. Uh, after uh, some uh, previous period, uh, we teach this lesson. This is the digital video I sent for you. Uh, I hope you, when you are watching this uh, video, you understand uh, Sinbad, uh, what type of the Sinbad the sailor. So, uh, you watch it carefully and all you uh, write all the meaning words in your notebook four or five times and learn it uh, uh, properly. Okay guys, next period I give you some their exercise related to this the lesson. Okay student, it's 